Hi, this will be Debbie with Deanne's Designs. I'm kind of behind on getting my uh, videos put up, and so I thought I would try today to get one or two put in, and so we can play catch up. <laughs> this will be my first one. This is my altered file folder, and uh, of course, Lori Fusco, Girl on the Ridge, is introduced us to these, and has actually asked us to try it out for ourselves well I've been wanting to do exactly that and this is what I have finally done and what I finally have come up with um, I went ahead and titled mine out to the hat and because I, I just thought it'd be a nice subject type of file folder to do um, the companies that I have receive some of my um, images from is going to be Crafty Print. This is the young lady that's on the front. Uh, some of the words such as this one down below here, whose name is Imagine. And that will be from G. Kerr um, off of her Facebook group actually. So if you belong to her Facebook group, she often gives us Oh, freebies, you know, to print off and to use in our work, which is very thoughtful of her to do for us, too. Um, this young lady is the beginning of it, and she's she has on a very beautiful hat. So I, I just wanted to bring that into everyone's attention. She, and, and, of course, she's back in her era, her uh, time when ladies wore really nice hats normally anywhere at all. Uh, to the back, we're going to have Bird and Beauty, and um, again, her image is right there. The other images that will be used, which the majority of the images used actually, are going to be from Gecko Gals. Um, she has her images, are she's got several actually with the ladies, the, the pretty ladies with the pretty hats. Mad Hatter is one of her images that I basically used in this file folder so that'll be pretty much what you see so I'll go ahead and, and uh, we'll get started with the, the showing of the hat um, this is the first thing I did was alter a a clip a hair clip and um, it it's not like this this is just snippets I've taken out of what I have back in my I have like three boxes of snippets. It's really outrageous. And uh, needs to be eliminated. And that's what I'm trying to do now. Uh, this will be the back of it. And um, forevermore will be a word uh, I got off of uh, Tim Holtz's uh, word books that he sells. He has different ones. Uh, I chose a black one on this one here. And um, Prima Flowers. Um, these little flowers I got out of uh, Walmart snippets. Uh, I'm not sure where I got the flat back pearl. Um, these are just paper and materials. So, and these are little prima flowers I've ordered. Um, there you go. They're super simple to make. You may want to consider doing some yourself, and really easy to put back on when you know when you're done with whatever you're doing and it just adds a nice little attachment to either a file folder or a book or whatever and you stick to the way you want it to go anyway there's that um let's take this aside now okay so we we can see this this is all tissue that i have um napkins and this is a coffee dyed paper that i attached onto here the hat the words I just did on Google Doc and printed it out on my coffee dyed paper and then attached accordingly and these will be um, a punch out from each corner and this is a pearl drop that maybe that one came out of um, Metal Gallery uh, Metal Galleries out of Hobby Lobby and I'll set that aside it's just a little a little fun up here at the top and then we're going to open it up and and this is what the inside will appear to be oh, it's so big I'm gonna have to change the camera so hang on to your heads 
and then this is going to be the bottom the section over here so I'm going to start with the top this is um, yeah, this is gecko girls gals I should say um, here's our little floral uh, material floral um, I've got a little bit of of our cheesecloth tea dyed stuck onto here As you can see the pearl can drop about anywhere in here it's a nice little drop to have and then we have some um, music I think I stamped that music on and then we have yeah I know I did and then we have um, some more cheesecloth a little lace gecko gals uh, little girl she's very pretty with her big brimmed hat looks like maybe imaging of a little sailor's outfit she's totally in green I had some uh, some gardenias that were actually off of crafts you print and um, some images I had from there and so I, I cut them out and I put them with her because I just love the green blending and they're together with each other and then we did down at the bottom we're gonna have this lady here she's she's very attractive uh, rather looks a little bit on the opinionated end perhaps um, very nice looking though I love her hat the hat was was it totally did it uh, I stuck a little embellishment onto there on her front this is actually a um, when I was stamping my stamp went over here on her I thought well that doesn't look too bad so I left it alone uh, she's tacked on top of a uh, bingo card the bingo card came out of Gecko Gecko Gals also and then you open it up and I believe that's the craft she print right there and uh, she's been imaged out with a little piece of trim that I had in my snippet box um, as you can see this one here is geckogals.com that's how you're going to find them if you're interested and um, we have her now I printed her out on tracing paper some of these images that I used are on tracing paper um, I can show you how to do that it's super simple and it will give you more like a tissue paper look but it's a little bit more durable I would say than what tissue paper is a little bit easier to work with uh, for me anyway uh, this down in here is going to read I've got a good heart but this mouth you're going to open this up out of the way real quick and you can see another image on tracing paper and then here's another one that's on tracing paper these are both from Gecko Gals and then the stamp dream is on here this is another one out of my Gecko Gals and the stamp dream also on that she's been printed on tracing paper also then I attached her over a napkin image I had already installed on this file folder that I've torn and added into here for a fold out she has an ostrich feather uh, because she just kind of struck me as a type who could carry it with that hat that hat is is it it really had a nice flare going to it I added a little bit of bling right over into here and um, you open it up and this has been copy dyed as far as the file folder went so are my papers um, a little stamping here and there dream and then we just that's what this is it's just a, it's a little book that you can take a note into we have a little copy dye going on with our paper here and um, that's it close it off and this one here says I am fabulous so these ladies were fabulous no doubt okay so we've gone over this page and so now I'm going to open it up to this this is what we will see as we open this is a I'm not sure where I got this one here at I just I gotta admit I didn't have a name on that one um, this is these roses that are cut out here the, now I ordered those those are tsunami rose and when I print those off I have a scanning cut that I lay them into and let the scanning cut cut these out <laughs> so they're really really close edged cut uh, this one here is um, I believe that's a gecko gals also she's she was just cute I thought I love that big old hat and hers with her big hat it looks beautiful loved every minute of it um, excuse my arm Get that curl back down 
and then we're going to have this one here. This is a tag that I've made. This is, these are tsunami rose. That's a tsunami rose. Rose. This is Gecko Gals. Mad Hatters was the name of their papers. I printed it out also on a tracing paper and a piece of of um, a file folder and I just managed to make that in there so I made it into a small small pocket that can hold little things like the tag and this lady as you can see super simple but you use up your scraps and I really kind of like to do that I'm kind of a big scrap person I guess and this is also this is just a piece of cardstock I had in my scraps so I put that in there this is a guest check. This guest check came out of Ula La Vintage Treasures. And uh, this is from Doreen Root on, on a package that I had issued to me from her. Um, this is a, it pulls out. We have this little gal here who's got her little hat on. I just tissue paper and then, or not tissue paper, tracing paper, and then attached to the guest check. This is another tsunami rose. On the back you have where you can write on it. This is Tsunami Rose here. Again, scan and cut. Cut this out. I did not do this cutting. Um, this one here is some more um, Gecko Gals. She's really a pretty little thing. I used a little gesso. Came up in here with some gesso over the stamping that I've done. Um, she's another one that is Gecko Gals. She is um, is she on tracing? Yeah, she's on tracing paper also. And this is a piece of file folder here. She's tracing paper also. And uh, I just attached her into the tracing paper. You open it up. You got a little cutout that I did with the circle punch. And then I attached another beautiful lady with her beautiful winter stole. And then the matching hat. She, she was just really pretty. I left this side open on this one so that you can easily enter it back and forth into there. Um, let me get this put back together again. I'm going to put this back in and you can see that's pretty much where I I ended up with on this. I guess I, I could have done more. I really thought about flapping some more in here and I thought I think I'm happy with it just like it is. So I I just pretty much left it alone. I know I had writing space. I know I had a tag or two. I know that, you know, if you wanted to use these girls into another area, you could just pull them right out and, and use them because they're they're quite available. And yeah, let me get this folded down this way. Bring it back up. And then again, here's the front of it. Here is my hair clip. I'm going to attach right about it in there. This idea I got from uh, Doreen from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. She did a series of them. And I've been making them and using them. They they are very nice to, to put into your books. Let's see if i got any more left on my... I made this paper holder and this is kind of how this came out and and so this is what I have left I got to make some more but uh, yeah I just I had cut I had the scanning cut cut some words out and I saved this I had two sections of it so I attached them together I left this cardstock into the backdrop so that I you know had something a little bit prettier to look at than nothing and um, put all these made these little hair clips. Now you don't have to finish the whole back of this one here is not finished. It's okay. It'll be alright. You know if you want to stick a little flower up there and call it good. That, that's what you can do. It's up to you. However you want to do it. I've got some words on some and I don't have words on the others. You know. It's just what you want to do with it. Some have dangles. This one here has a little dangle onto it. And um, you know it's just whatever you want to do with them. So that's kind of where those come from. And I appreciate Doreen's heads up on making those. It really came out good. Um, and I use them a lot. So anyway, this is the hat. And this is how this came out. You see the little feathers still coming off the side. I think she's kind of pretty. I think the whole thing came out pretty nice. Um, anyway, if you um, 
you'd like, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you.